Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve word problems on geometric sequence and this is the first part. Before we go over this example right here, let's have a review on the important formulas for geometric sequence and geometric series. We remember that the nth term of a geometric sequence is represented in an equation t of n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. Or this t of n can also be represented as a sub n. So other textbooks are using t of n. Others are using a sub n. They're pretty much the same thing. They're just variables. It can also be, again, represented as a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. One, we remember that our t of n and the a sub n represents the nth term of the sequence, while our a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, and our r is the common ratio. The second formula will be used to determine the sum of the first n terms of geometric series. This is represented as s sub n is equal to a sub 1, parenthesis 1 minus r raised to the power n over 1 minus r, where our s sub n represents the sum of the first n terms, a sub 1 represents the first term, r represents the common ratio, and n represents the number of terms. <laughs> Okay, so let's go over the problem here. The problem says we are supposed to find the 13th term of a geometric sequence whose first term is 3 and whose common ratio is 2. There are steps that we need to follow in order to solve this kind of problem right here. The first step is to write the given. So in this problem that we have here, we are. it says that we are given the first term which is Three. So again, we remember that the first term is represented as a sub 1. So I can go ahead and write a sub 1 here as the first um, given. So a sub 1 is 3. We also have another given right here. It says the common ratio is 2. We remember that common ratio is represented as letter R. So I can go ahead and write R is equal to 2 right here. And we are supposed to find the 13th term. This 13th term can be represented as a sub 13. Or we can also represent this as t of 13. So any of these can be used to represent um, 13th term. So pretty much this is read as the first term is 3. And so we're looking for the 13th term. Now we move on to the second step. The second step is to plug in the given values into the formulas and solve for the missing variable. So our missing variable here is thir uh, the 13th term or a sub 13. So again, we remember that the formula for um, the nth term of any geometric series is given a sub n. Again, we can also use t um of n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to the power n minus 1. We're looking for a 13, so this n becomes 13, and so this n also right here becomes 13. So this becomes a sub 13 is equal to our a sub 1 is 3 times our ratio is 2 raised to the power. Again, our n becomes 13. So this is raised to the power 13 minus 1. So 13 minus 1 is 12. So we can go ahead and rewrite this as a sub 13 equals 3 times 2 to the power 12. So that we can go ahead and use calculator to determine the value for this um, 2 raised to the power 13. So we can set this up to raised to the power 12 is that value. So we can go ahead and say a sub 13 is 3 times 4096. And so multiplying that by 3, that gives us 12,288. So this is our 13th term. So that's 12,288. So again, this is the 13th term of this geometric um, sequence that we have right there. We can actually check our work here by writing them all out to see if the 13th term is really 12,288. So I'm just going to show the work 
on the bottom right here. Okay, so I've created um, 13 blanks here. It says that our first term is three. So I'm gonna write um, three um, up here. That's the first term. And then we remember that we are supposed to multiply each of the terms by two because the common ratio is two. So we're gonna go ahead and say times two here. So three times two would be, uh, would become six and then six times two, again, a common ratio is two. So that would be six times two is 12. And so I will again, multiply each by two here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write it up here. Okay, so as you can see here, our um, 13th term is 12,288, which matches to our um, work that we have up here. So again, this represents our A sub one, and this is our A sub 13 or the 13th term. Now let's move on to the next example right here. Find the ninth term of the geometric sequence whose first term is negative four and whose common ratio is negative three. Again, there are steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this kind of problem right here. The first step is to write the given. So the given values that we have right here, it says that our first term is negative four. Again, the first term is represented as a sub one. So that is a sub one is negative four. We also have another given right here. The common ratio is negative three. So our R is negative three. And so we are looking for the ninth term. So we're gonna represent this as a sub nine or T of nine. It doesn't matter, they're just variable. We can pick any of these notation right here. It's just the same thing. So what we do next here is that we move on to the second step. The second step is to plug in the given values into the formula and solve for the missing variable. So again, we're missing the a sub nine. We remember that the formula for the nth term of any geometric sequence is represented as T sub N, or again, you can use A sub N. That is T sub N is equal to A sub one times R N minus one. Again, this can also be represented as A sub N. So then we go ahead and plug in the nine here. So that is T of nine. So we're gonna change this N also into a nine. Our A sub one is negative four times our r again is negative three. So I put that inside the parentheses, negative three. Our n is nine minus one. So that we can go ahead and um, simplify this part right here. So that is t sub uh, t of nine is equal to negative four times negative three to the power eight. So that is t of nine is equal to negative four times negative three to the power eight is 6,561. So multiplying these two together, our T sub nine is equal to negative 26,244. So this is the ninth term of this um, geometric sequence that we have that is being described in this word problem up there. Now we can again check our work by writing them all out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show the work down here. So our first term is negative four. So I'm just gonna write negative four right here. And the common ratio is negative three, which means that we're going to multiply this by negative three. So um, I'm just gonna uh, put that in parentheses. So multiply that by negative three. And so four times negative three is, um, that would come out positive 12. So I'm just gonna write positive 12 right here. And then we do the same thing. So multiply this again by negative three. And so I'll do that for the rest of these. You can see on the list here, this is our A sub one, that's the first term. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the ninth term or A sub nine, and it matches to the 
work that we have up here. So that is negative 26,244. That is the ninth term. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.